you know, first of all, trauma literally just means wound, right? So I want to like clarify this because there's so many misconceptions about trauma. You see the left, they're completely over, everything is trauma, they identify with trauma, they don't even work through the trauma. And then the right conservative, there's no trauma, just suck it up and go over with it, over with it, right? No understanding of psychology and all of that. No, but the truth of the matter is, here's the fact, unless you're enlightened, you're traumatized <laughs> to varying degrees. So I really have to make this standpoint, which means wounds. And I'm not talking about, there's definitely what, I, what is called big T traumas, the obvious traumas, like growing up with physical violence, sexual abuse, alcoholic parent, all of that. That is obvious or, uh, you know, uh, being a, a war veteran, right? PTSD, all the obvious big T traumas, right? But there's develop, so-called developmental trauma, which you all have to varying degrees. Why? Because... None of us, our parents were perfect. None of our parents were enlightened, right? They have their own, you know, even our parents, they had, there was no understanding of trauma at all that, that came as just about in the 90s and 2000s, really, in, in the mainstream. So you cannot blame your parents either, by the way. <laughs> they have their own wounds. They have the conditioning. They have the karmic lessons, right? My parents came from, my mom escaped from communist Poland. My dad escaped from communist socialist Germany, right? So... That was all about survival. They didn't have time to process their emotions and trauma. Right? But because of themselves, because of my dad, for example, being not emotionally available, my mom having a lot of anxiety, I took that on myself. Almost intergenerational, you take that on, what your ancestors or parents haven't processed. You, It's also within you on some level, right? And then upbringing, like any little thing, you know, more and more research is coming out uh, nowadays. The the first three years in, in your life are the most important. They literally set up the template for the rest of your adult life. Uh, how your parents have treated you, how they were emotionally mirroring you, validating you, how they, you know, all of that. And then a little thing, you can even, even if your parents meant very well when they take away that, you know, you did something bad and, or like that and something they approved of and they hit you or punish you and like bad, bad boy. And like, you know, this can literally initiate a trauma response within you and a false core belief like, oh, I'm a bad boy. I'm not good enough. I cannot show certain feelings and emotions. Boom. You know, your anger has been relegated into the shadow or whatever you feel or you're not allowed to say that. And then you take this over into adulthood. And that's, that's, you know, out of, out of the trauma response, what happens, you create a false self as we all have like a false personality we think is the true self. Um, almost unconsciously, so you don't do what your parents said is bad or punished you for, and that carries over into adulthood. So you still try to get the approval from others, right? We all get that's uh, on some level from from your romantic partner, from friends, from society, on social media to try and get approval to be seen. Because why your parents didn't give the approval, you were not seen for who you really were. So that already that is a trauma response. That little thing. Um, and as long as we have that, then we can easily be manipulated by society, by these other forces, right? Uh, by even having desires that are not our self, but compensations for what we ha have not uh, received in childhood. Um, so we can even literally have aims, goals, and desires. I've seen this with many people I've worked with and clients. Um, even, high, you know, I used to work in this very high-end retreat center in Malibu and down in California, even working very wealthy, even celebrity-type people. But a lot of their aims, desires didn't fulfill them because they were not their own. They were trauma responses, right? You, you try to uh, pursue certain things externally to fill a hole within yourself. But the hole cannot fulfill be by stuff or relationships or anything or attention. You need to heal this within yourself to give that to yourself what you didn't receive in childhood. So trauma can be as simple as that, right? Little thing. Um, but then some people are better adjusted. You know, some people have healthy attachment. There's insecure attachment, secure attachment, all kinds of different psychological things. But most of us, we have all these, we have this false personality, these parts within ourselves as a compensation over the wounds, over covering up very uncomfortable feelings we don't like to feel or show, which is mostly sadness, shame, guilt, grief, all of that, right? And out of this trauma response, we build the false self. Uh, 